cheat. All of you. I mean, look at you. Look at you. Just grazing your way through your life. Meanwhile, Big Brother's controlling everything you see, everything you hear, everything you do. I'm going to tell you the truth. Hey, Corey. Hi. Gina Galindo. This is? T.C. Galloway. <laughs> nice to meet you. Same here. You know, you two have so much in common, it's spooky. Here we go. <laughs> no, 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 I, I mean it. I mean, you both love bikes. You love the ocean, hiking. Can you believe this hard sell? Yeah, she has a real arm twister. Corey, why don't you take a nice walk? Before we all die of embarrassment. <laughs> all right. I'll leave you two kids alone then. <laughs> Oh, listen, don't forget, this is the afternoon I'm bringing my EDC kids down to the beach. I have my dare speech already. Great. Now, go away. Bye. Do you want to sit? Yeah. Did it surprise you when she became a cop? Not at all. Even in the 10th grade, everything had to be by the book. Let me guess. Uh, decaf, not fat. Double espresso, straight up. I could see Corey wasn't exaggerating. Two double espresso. A bike cop, Gina? Couldn't you at least get a real one? Easy. I wasn't talking to you. No, you were talking to me, and I wish you wouldn't. We've got nothing to say to each other, Dean. How do you know? You won't give me a chance. Because I've heard it all before. But you haven't, honestly. Can't we sit down face to face and talk this through? No. This isn't talking. This is creating a public nuisance. I won't let you go without a fight. You okay? Sure. I'm fine. I have to admit, when my journalism teacher suggested I ride along with you guys, I was a little disappointed. I mean, what kind of story am I going to get on the beach? You'd be surprised. Good. Because this is fun and all, but it won't be much of a final report. Metro might have had a murder by now. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. Don't be looking at me like I'm crazy. You're the ones. We're all part of it. Part of an international conspiracy involving our United States government and the drug cartels. And that's not a joke, buddy. I don't know what you're laughing at. Shut up and get off my beach. <laughs> His beach, you hear that? You're making a big mistake, Sonny. But that's supposed to scare me, freak? You want action? You got it. Whose beach did you say it was? I want to hear you looking. Whose beach you say it was? Huh? Whose beach? Please drop it now! There, he went over there! You right?
Warren Zachary, 16 White Cap Street. No wants or warrants, not much of a rapture. Disturbing the peace. What a surprise. And a couple of domestics. Looks like he's moving up in the world. Well, great. Let's go pick him up. Allie, this could be dangerous. Well, so I should sit here, read about this bust in the papers? Daddy! Hey, sweetheart, what you doing? Playing homeless. Oh, that's silly. <laughs> yeah. Where's your mama? Elena! Elena! Wait out here, please. I'll go play outside. I said wait here! What are you doing? You flushed my pills. You need help, Zach. No, I need my pills. You have to stop. I can't stop. Do you understand that? I got shrapnel in my spine. That's my reward for years of faithful service to my country. I but... spoke to a clinic. They can help you, but you have to take the first step. Hey, I ain't taking squat. Then I am. I'm taking Casey. Done. Keep him talking. Watch the front. Found any alley between White Cap and Tide Pool. Man, the lieutenant has all the luck. Can you imagine being sent to the Bahamas on duty? And being paid for it? It's not right. Well, he is training a 50 man bike squadron. Oh, gee, my heart goes out to him. Hey, TC, check this out. It's from Falero. Sweet, but I got a little picture postcard of my own. This was taken off the surveillance cameras at that pharmacy that was just knocked over. A suspect's name is Zach Torrance, and he's had a busy day. 4.15 on the beach this morning, stolen car, evading arrest at his house. And for lunch, a little 2.11 at Lee's Pharmacy. His wife said he was hooked on narcotics and is prone to fits of irrational behavior. Tell me about it. He also believes himself to be the target of some shady government conspiracy. Aren't we all? Listen, the guy's packing major hardware. He has military background. Obviously, a serious sex to grind. Bottom line, he's to be considered armed and extremely dangerous. No heroics. Don't try to apprehend him without backup. Just treat him like he's a living, breathing... Unexploded time bomb. <laughs>